What's it like sailing in Strangford Lock? It's nice scenery, but I do feel the restrictions, I'll be honest. Well, after a few days of um, rain and overcast and things like that, we haven't seen this place at its best. We're at Killyleigh in Strangford Lock, and it's been a very quiet anchorage, uh, or at least mooring. Uh, we dropped the anchor here, and some very, very kind people came over to us and said, no, don't drop an anchor. There's a couple of free mooring balls. Have this one. And I don't know whether it was the person who owns the mooring ball or the club and things like that, because to be honest, there's a few people about on the night and then they all disappeared. And it was bank holiday weekend, so it's possible maybe this is a weekend club, but we haven't seen anybody since. Um, maybe it's COVID, maybe it's maybe it's the bug. Um, but the Yacht Club has been closed. We'd love to see them. We'd love to say thank you, Kelly Lay, for being so nice to us and giving us a mirroring and things, but there's no one to speak to. And it's just a little bit disconcerting because we like to chat to people, that's what we do. Um, in the town, the town's nice. We've had some nice chats with some of the locals there and things like that, but it's just very, very quiet. It's the start of our little tour of Strangford, so today we're going north up that general direction and we're hoping to find a very nice anchorage. So let's get ourselves moving. Sailing in um, what lock are we in, Beth? Lock Mysterious. You've wanted to come here for years, so I expect you'll not forget its name. <laughs> oh. You're in Strangford Lock. You, I Dog. can't believe you've All forgotten. Right. Never mind. Anyway, well, Beverly and I are sailing in Strangford Lock, and um, we're passing some absolutely glorious. Um, uh, countryside, rolling hills, drumlins we think they are, but it's lovely. We're going at a staggering uh, two knots. 2.4 please. Okay, staggering 2.4 knots, but it's just so nice to have a relaxing sail. So why are we doing 2.4 knots? Because uh, we've got... Um, We've actually got two reefs in the uh, Jenny, and we've got um, yeah, we've got two reefs in the main. We've got three in the main. Three in the main, so we haven't got much sail up. But Bev and I wanted a little bit of a relaxing sail rather than, and we don't have very far to go. Um, Stamford yeah. Lock is not really that big. We didn't want to be there in ten minutes, did we? No, you know if you're going to sail. Oh, just I like to, enjoy it. I like to have a relaxing one every so often. Uh, yeah. Um, the one uh, coming down here wasn't all that relaxing. No, one coming down here was uh, tidal gates, which you have to meet at certain times. Also, um, huge big gusts of wind. The wind was very fluky. Yeah. Um, so one minute it'd be we'd got the sails wrong for the amount of wind, and so you'd sort of like reef them, and then next minute you'd have no wind whatsoever, so you'd mm. bring it up. So there's a lot more work. Whereas you were under reefed or over reefed the whole way, weren't you? Yeah, just it was very fluky weather. Yeah. But this is just a nice relaxing sail, and I think that's good. It's good to have one of those every now and then in your 
<sighs> just relax. Time to relax. <laughs> That is one tiny stick. picked up a little bit now um, but it, as far as I'm concerned it is now official it is the sea state that Bev and I can't cope with um, it's 4 6 at the moment but we're still doing fine but that's because the sea state is minimal one, one of the things I would say that when you are in uh, Strangford Lock um, the boys are rather dinky. Um, they're a lot smaller than, um, they're just a bit bigger than a, a fishing uh, pot boy. This looks a bit involved. What's going on? Well, basically, this is the uh, sail that we were given. Um, but the bolt rope um, that's running through it um, has basically just perished. Um, there's various sections that's just come and done. Um, this is the corner section, and the bolt rope goes round this corner section, and then it just seems to disappear into nothing um, and then I've got areas like this which is um, you know just degraded because it is a second-hand sale but um, you know I'm gonna work my magic and um, hopefully make a cruising shoot out of the whole thing <laughs> so. <laughs> so the pile of disintegrating bolt rope continues to mount and over here in the sail maker's loft. <laughs> I've just got these triangles uh, to do, but I wanted to show you the um, mastery of how um, the sail has been made, put together with um, the bolt rope going round um, the hard point, which is the ring. And then they've um, got um, a piece of cloth over that and it's all stitched in. Um, and then, um, at the bottom of the section of the sail, um, the bolt rope just tapers absolutely beautifully to the tiniest thing. Um, I've no idea if I'm going to be able to be successful in putting this sail together, but I'm looking at it like this. I'm learning so many things about how people do sails, and I have to be honest, Sail making is definitely an art. They have done some beautiful things in this sail, but by taking it apart, I'm learning. So, you know, hey ho, <laughs> another skill down. Well, we've uh, come up to the top end of the lock. Because one of the things I wanted to see was um, uh, a light ship, so we'll hopefully see that. But we had wanted to uh, meet up with some people at um, uh, Strangford Yacht Club. It is. <laughs> we've, we've been got by the bug again, haven't we? <sighs> Still things are closed. Um, you know, members are allowed to go, but visitors and things like that, it's still all closed. And uh, apparently the local shops are a good mile 
or so down the road you know the local garage so if you do need to stock supplies where we were the other day which was at Killer Lay you know much better for getting any shopping done because the shops here are a bit too far really We're just sitting here relaxing, having a coffee, watching Gaynor's chocolate melts while she films me, and um, we're watching the ceiling. There's a lot of classic little boats out, wooden boats, things like that. Um, there's a couple of top topplers, or toppers to give them their proper name. I always call them topplers because they go over like that. And um, we're just having a relax before we start off on our journey down the lock back toward Killy Lay. And, um, We've had some interesting advice about getting out of Strangford, so uh, we'll be looking at that on the charts later. But for now, it's time to drink coffee, relax, watch boats and melting chocolate. Lock bed. Uh, what's it like sailing in Strangford Lock? It's nice scenery, but I do feel the restrictions, I'll be honest. Um, there's loads of water about. The reason I'm not looking at you at the camera is because, quite frankly, there are lots of crab pots and lobster pots about, and lots of rocks about, and lots of buoyage about, and it's a busy little place to sail for what it is. Um, I think if I was doing a lot of sailing around here, I think I would actually want a smaller boat than Salty Lass. I think Salty Lass in a way is too big for Strangford Lock. But it's the only boat we have, so we've got to stick with her. Mm. But, um... Yeah, because there's lots of little channels in between the islands and stuff, but because Salty Lass is a, bit, is a bigger boat, Yeah. Um, We'd find it difficult to sail in those channels. I think we? we would. Anyway, we're going to have a um, sail adjustment coming up in a few seconds. All right, well, I'll put this away then. So we're back in Killy Lay. Uh, we're working with nature these days. We went to bed at sunset and we got up with sunrise, so <laughs> got up at this stupid hour of the morning. Um, we've been looking over the charts, uh, things like that, because we'll be making our exit from here in a day or two's time. And we're considering the advice given to us by one of the locals. Um, we're going to touch on that briefly. The advice for getting in and out, we found the Irish Sea Pilot was very, very good for getting in and out of Strangford. Um, it gives the tidal streams times to approach and all that sort of thing. It doesn't give you very much about where you can go. I mean, it mentions all the yacht clubs and what's a good wind direction and things like that. But this one, 
the Irish Cruising Club's book, is much better about where to find anchorages and things like that. I find this much better inside the lock. Not so good at giving directions for getting in or out. This was better at giving the directions in and out. Not so good at where to go when you're inside. So between the pair of them, they make a pilot guide. Um, we wanted to go into some of these areas here, but and we did go in in the dinghy and we nearly grinded the dinghy. So that sort of put us off the whole idea of going in there in the salty lass. So we wind up being restricted to this big run up and down the middle or this bit across the bottom. If the locals had been about, we would have asked them, where is it safe to take this boat? What's the best times? But there was nobody to ask. So <sighs> nobody could sit down and have an in-depth discussion with and give them charts and books. And it's just the way it is. Maybe one day we'll go back and be able to do this again. When Basically, I, I we really wanted to go in and out of, in the little nooky cat bits. Yeah, we wanted to spend a lot of time on all these little islands and channels, but with, without local knowledge, we weren't prepared to risk it. Yeah, because this salty lass is our home, and um, we've only got one boat. <laughs> <laughs> we're not planning on getting another. <laughs> we're not planning on getting another. No. So the idea is that um, we're going to move over to Port of Ferry um, because Port of Ferry is right at the entrance of Strangford Narrows on the inside. And it's an ideal place to start from for your exit. So today's job is to get a few bits and bobs started out of board. And then we're going to move the boat to Port of Ferry. Um, spend a day there, see if we can find a pub or a restaurant that's open and enjoy ourselves a bit. And then after that, we're off. So that's the plan. Mm -hmm.